Hey YouTube, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I will show you the easiest way to highly improve the driving performance of your SCX24 and your Panda Hopi Tetra by simply swapping out the ESC but still using the stock electronics. You can do this only in the Panda Hopi and in the SCX24 because their receiver ESC units to also have a channel 2 plug where you can simply plug in an external ESC in all the other micros I know so in the Mini C4x4, in the Hobby Plus CR24, CR18, Throw Copy Katana, Atlas 6x6, ECRC Patreon, SG1802 the small RGTs that's not possible so both of these trucks do come with a very similar radio, same shape and both do have, you know, high, medium, low speed adjustment which is simply dual rate and well, the SCX24 does have quite okay driving performance the Panda Hobby does have awful driving performance and I will use the awesome ESCs from Modelbauregler DE or DE for this, the AS612RW for the SCX24. I prepared one with the BSC and uh, AS1215RW, that's that one. I prepared one for the Panda Hobby. This ESC, the small ES126RW with its awesome performance, needs a BC. And from my previous videos, I know that many people of you do have problems with the BC and how to install it. That's super easy. You don't have to do it as complicated as I did it here. And in the end of this video, I will explain in detail with larger BCs how to mount and what options do you have to mount a BC to the truck. But first let's check the driving behavior as it is. The SCX24 is quite good. One of the best out of the box. I'm on high speed now. So a little bit noisy it starts quite soon. And you can drive quite slow. So it's really quite okay. That was on high speed. And now I go to the lowest speed. There you have better low speed modulation, but a lot less power. And what you can see here, throttle trigger has to be pulled much farther till the truck starts. And if you can want to go over this step, you have to pull the throttle, that throttle trigger fully. Let's see it easier for them though, this way. Okay, it's quite good, but it can be better as we have already seen. And now let's check the Panda Door Hobby, also full speed, super noisy, super loud and awful low speed performance. You see, that's the slowest I can go. And now I try to, let's jump, that was high speed. It's very strong and now let's go to low speed. Of course it's better here but nearly have to pull the throttle trigger fully and now I am on full throttle. So absolutely awful low speed performance. And now let's start with the other ESCs. 
you know the SCX24, receiver ESC unit, plug off battery, plug off motor, and here you see it has several ports, a steering port channel 1 and most important for us channel 2 port, also an aux port we can use if we want to use the BC not in parallel with the ESC and some ports for lights. And what I will do now, I will take this ESC where BC is connected in parallel with the BC and plug it into channel 2 as we are used to. And then I will take the motor plug that's it's black here. I made it black because it's the same as the battery plug. You know already I don't like this, so don't plug in the battery into the motor port. And that's it now. And I thought of using a little bit of double-sided tape and mount it here, for example. And radio is on. And now let's plug in the battery. And does it work? Does work. Full speed. I'm not sure if I should plug the battery in with full speed, what means 100% dual rate. Probably that's better. This ESC has auto learning. And how does it do? Check my index finger. Starts nearly immediately. And check this low speed. Unbelievable. With stock radio and stock receiver, I can stop here on the edge. And that's on high speed. And of course, it still does have quite a lot of punch because that's the high speed. So check this out. How awesome is this? High speed. Full power. Absolutely awesome. We can also go to low speed now, but this means we will have a lot less power. And you see on my index finger, I have to pull the throttle trigger much farther till it starts, you see, so. And I have to make it nearly full throttle to be able to climb this small step. With the stock electronics and stock ESC, most people used always medium, but I go to full highest speed again and show it to you once again. This is absolutely awesome. That's high speed. I can stop here, can go back a little bit, can climb farther. Unbelievable. Wow, so easy. Stock radio, stock receiver, upgrade ESC. Downside with those ESCs, you do not have a, an on-off switch. And now let's try the same thing with a larger ESC with the AS1215 in the Panda Hobby. Okay. With its super nice body pins. Check the receiver unit, ESC unit, it has a lot of channels and the servo is plugged into channel 1 of course. Next is channel 2, 3, 4, 5. The radio does not support 5 channels but 
that's super cool and we will plug the ESC now in channel 2 of course this ESC includes a BSC first let's plug off the come on battery and the motor and let's plug the motor in and let's plug the ESC wire on channel 2 that's it switch on the radio and what you do have to do with this ESC you have to calibrate it I have the AS1215 REV but there's also an easy version for the same price which does automatic calibration as the small one in this you have to start with you know this I can show it to you how to calibrate this so full throttle battery this was the wrong side here's the LED sorry the LED is on the front side so full throttle power up green light center light off full backwards one beep center chuck that's done and now it works and you see it's absolutely silent now and I'm also on full speed should place the ESC I don't know. of course use double sided tape come on Panda Hobby check my index finger I'm on highest speed starts nearly immediately and can climb or crawl no 10,000 times better key ratio is still too high in this truck so it will never be the best crawler slower motor would be best but totally silent and check this out and check this out I am on highest speed here and this since this motor is so strong now I go to lowest speed let's see this doesn't give really any improvement check my index finger as in the XL ACX24 if you have to go if you go to low speed you have to pull the throttle trigger much you see I'm nearly, I hope you can see it on camera, I'm nearly on full throttle now. And now it starts, so... Go to highest speed again. And check this out. How awesome is this? And how awesome would a much slower motor be? This truck is awesome, but the motor is too fast and the electronics are one of the worst you can get. It's so silent. And of course, it's a, it, it's a basher, it's still a basher. This truck is more a basher than a crawler, unfortunately. Awesome, isn't it? And now I show you how I mounted the BSC on the small AS126RW ESC. Here in this, I used the super small micro PSC from Matic again. You do not have to use this. That's the most complicated way to do it. And what I did here, you see the servo wires coming out from here and going to the receiver unit. And I tested before the servo wires coming out from the ESC signal 
plus minus they do not have any power so you normally would only need to connect the signal and the black the gnu to the receiver unit so there is no power coming out and what did i do i simply soldered the out of the small matic bc so the power for the receiver unit directly to the plus and the minus that's the plus and that's the minus of the servo out of the esc and that way i solved one plug hope you can understand this i will show you the other way i did and i did already show you in the last videos we have another esc okay here that would be the other way here you have a small bc again power from battery in to the esc and then i soldered wires in parallel to the in of the bc and this does have a separate power plug out for the receiver unit you have to plug into one channel the aux channel or whatever so of course i could also use this in the axial scx24 and then i would use the aux channel for the bc and the channel 2 for the servo wire of the esc and because this seems to be so complicated for many of you i will show you this in detail now because i got so many questions also in forums so we have a battery that's a 2s battery a large battery we have a power source and we have a bc and we have an esc bc and esc are totally separate units they are not connected the bc gives power to the receiver unit it has normally five or six volts so if you buy a bc normally you can only buy five volt bcs they are called bcs backs ubacks step down model whatever we need five or six volts i didn't see any step down models bcs separate ones with six volts so far at least not so small ones so we connect the battery to the bc and this reduces the voltage so most go up to whatever specifications from 5 to 20 30 whatever volts and give 5 volts out so connect the battery to the bc and connect the bc to the receiver unit to any receiver any receiver here here's a receiver connected to any channel that's free of course plus center and black minus to the position normally outer position not to the signal position and then we have the esc and this esc needs also power in that's here on the small es126 so we need to connect the battery to the esc2 and then it has a out for the motor and it has a signal wire and a black gnu at least this one has also has three wires that connect it to the receiver unit where it gets its signal for controlling the motor and here I do have a AS126 without BEC connected and you can see here that's the battery in black red that's the motor out and those are the three wires going to the receiver unit to channel 2 I guess red is not necessary here so no bc in this so we need to connect the battery in parallel to the esc 
and to the PC. Therefore, we could, for example, use a Y cable. So plug the battery in here and plug one to the ESC and one to the PC. So I will plug this now to this PC and that one to the ESC. Here I have UMX plugs, need an adapter. Of course, if you make a Y cable, you should make a Y cable with the plugs you will need. So let's connect this to the ESC. Now we have power out for the receiver, power out for the motor and signal. And now we can connect this to the XLSCX24. So I connect the motor plug of the ESC to the motor. I connect the signal and black GNU to channel 2 and totally separately I connect the power out of the PEC, the 5 volt, to the aux channel. And you have to check the upper plug, the upper pin is for the signal, so you have to plug it in correctly, of course. So, and now we power this XLSCX24 with an ESC separately and a PSC separately. I hope this makes it more understandable for those of you who did have problems with the PSC. Totally separate. And now let's switch on. Come on. The radio. And plug in the battery, which gives power simultaneously now to the ESC and to the PC. And I hope this will work now. Come on. Seems to work. So, I hope this helps some of you to understand better what a PEC does and how to mount a PEC the way I did it here. That's quite easy and not so difficult, but that's not necessary. And the way I did it in this ESC with a super small MATEC PEC directly on the ESC, that's the complicated way. You don't have to be afraid of this. Buy any PEC you want with 5 volts out. There are so many out there. And here those you don't have to super in out. I do have there are also some that do already come with wires. Yes, those ones did already show to you. So you have wire in, wire out solder this to some plugs to connect it to the battery in parallel to your AS612, this absolutely awesome ESC. And here, crimp, solder, whatever, servo plug or a red chest, he will probably work too. And do it that way, the separate way. So guys, I hope this helped those of you who had problems with the PC and the ESC. That's super, super easy and you don't have to do it the most complicated way. That's only me that always has to do it that way because I like the complicated stuff. Otherwise, isn't that awesome how this works with stock radio? Awesome driving performance. One thing shortly, the motor out plus and minus on the AS126 and also on the AS1215 are reversed to the polarity of the XLSCX24 and the Panda Hobby Tetra motor. And since those radios do not have a throttle reverse, so no reverse for channel 2, you will have to change either the motor wires on the motor or better, you <laughs> solder the wires to the ESC separately or here you mount the plugs in reverse polarity. So both SCX24 motor and Panda Hobby motor, if you 
connect them to those ESCs the way they are labeled. It's labeled, I guess that is motor minus black and motor plus red. Then the motor will go in reverse direction. No throttle reverse on the receiver, so solo them the other way around or change the plugs or whatever. So that's it already for this video. Absolutely awesome performance with stock radio. I hope you are as excited as I am. And I hope I could help some of you with this ESC BC problem. XL SCX24, you don't need a new radio, you don't need a new receiver, you can simply use the stock electronics and the same in the Panda Hobby Tetra. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. I'll be back.